Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology for the week starting the 14th of August. This week, Venus and Pluto are stirring up trouble in our love life. But there's also Mars, sextile Jupiter, that's giving us the confidence to push ahead. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Libra, last week Venus, your ruler, gave you a boost and hopefully you've sorted a few things out. Having said that, I have to be honest with you, Pluto is messing with your ruler this week and maybe stirring up some unconscious resentment or feelings. Now, have you been saying what you really feel or have you been blocking things and pushing things down? If you have been pushing things down, there may be a torrent of emotion that assails your partner or potential partner or a loved one of some description. At the moment, you are feeling quite intense emotions. Bear in mind that Mercury's retrograde, anything you say or hear could be a distorted version of the truth. This week, Venus squaring up to Pluto, which is in your position of home and family, and Venus is in your position of career. So you're passionate about your career, but there may be a bit of uh, an imbalance between the time you spend at home, the time you spend at work, or you feel that you are trapped by some kind of commitment or trapped, it could even be trapped in your own mind and insecurity. But Pluto is dragging something to the surface and there is the danger that you're going to lose your temper or do something that you feel has to be a secret, which is not like you because you like harmony and balance. The good news is on the 17th, Venus is squaring Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. But this happens to be a good square, an unusual thing, because squares are normally tension. I mean, the only reason, way that this could cause tension is if you are seriously overly enthusiastic or too pushy. But basically, you're finding yourself. Jupiter's in your sign. This is great. I mean, you know, there's sort of lots of good things that should have happened this year, and that's going to increase, particularly around your birthday. But at the moment, Venus is going, yeah, you're backing yourself up in some way. You're believing in yourself. And this is essential because when you believe in yourself, the world believes in you and everything comes together. So I want you to be your own cheerleader this week and know that you are fabulous, know that you can do it and know that you can achieve your career dreams. Then we have Mars, sextile Jupiter. Mars is the planet of action and the planet of passion. And when he has his sextile there, again, you've got in Jupiter in your sign and you've got Mars with a whole team of people or new connections or friends that are boosting you up and cheering you on. If somebody is messing with you in a group or been pissing you off, frankly, for some time, you may lose your temper or push yourself forward in a way and surprise people because normally you like to keep the peace, you like everything to be balanced. So there's a lot of potential this week. Do not get caught out by that dodgy old Pluto confusing you though. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed, or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.